in June, we were in a gathering among the NATO uh, member countries, and the talking was about the withdrawal. I just mentioned the need to address also the issue of the traitors. The traitors, as our very bitter history of dictatorship told us, are them who, after the regime will install itself, will be seen like the collaborators of the enemy. And the traitors in this case were all the people of Afghanistan, women and men, that were there for us, that worked with us, that covered so many things uh, in terms of services to the NATO countries, and also them who um, got the front line because they believed in what we were telling them. That we were there to make Afghanistan a different place. They believed it. And they came out and they stood for that. And after 20 years, we left. And of course, it was not up to me. And as I always say, being a Prime Minister of Albania in the NATO is quite an easy job because you don't have to take the decisions. <laughs> but uh, still, it seemed to me very bizarre that nobody was thinking about these people. And then uh, in August, just when things started to get rough, someone came to me in Albania and said, Secretary Clinton needs your help. I said, how comes <laughs> this, <laughs> this is something I would never dream of? <laughs> and then he said, no, I'm serious. And he, it was a he, by the way. Uh, and he told me about Little Voice and all this thing, and I said, okay, let's do it. He said, how? I said, let's do it. Let's take this win. He said, uh, but do you want Secretary Clinton to call you? I said, no, let's do it. And then, if she will remember about it, let her call me. <laughs> you know, because it's very American, by the way, <laughs> to be great in seducing you, and then to say, who are you? <laughs> but, uh, but it was not the case, by the way. And she called me. When all the women were saved and settled in Albania, she called me. And of course, it was a big honor because you have to know that if you are named Clinton in Albania or among Albanians, this is something very special because it's related to the liberation of half of our nation, Kosovo. And by the way, uh, it's the only place on earth where you have people today, boys, named Clinton. But the first name, not the second name. And there are even boys named Bill Clinton. First name, like Bill Clinton Rama. Yeah. And all these boys that today are grown up, they were newborns after, thanks to President Clinton, First Lady, and the United States government at that time, this population was liberated from, uh, from a regime that tried to clean them completely ethnically. So bottom line is we did it. And I think that as a NATO member country, we had to do it also because we, we are a small country. We can't change the destiny of any war 
and we go in every war by default if the United States decides. <laughs> but if we are not there, when it's up to save people, by not doing any heroic act like our old men and women did in the Second World War, why we have to be NATO members and for what we are worth in this world.